my workout going this morning, but I had to go ahead and get back to you about this tip when it comes to stretching that I completely forgot about over the past several months. Matter of fact, it's been almost a year since I've trained like this. You know, when we talk about flexibility and stretching with the bands, it's a lot like strengthening. You know, if you're going to go ahead and you want to challenge your flexibility, obviously going with a stronger band, because the band is 41 inches long on all these bands, it's going to challenge you to go further into your range of motion. Let me take you through why that's the case. Let me take my black band here. I'm going to hook it on to my right foot. Like so. And I'm going to start stretching. Now, the one thing you have to remember is this tension in the band. When the tension in the band meets the level of flexibility or inflexibility you have, so when those two tensions meet, that's as far as you're going to go. So, for instance, if I'm stretching in this position here and I'm pulling down, my hip rotation is only going to stretch as far as the tension on the band. So if I increase the tension on the band, that's going to force my muscles to go into, or that joint to go into a, a bigger range of motion because now the forces of the band have gone beyond the forces of the restriction. So the restriction has to go into a further, a greater range of motion. Now if you take that concept and understand that if you always stretch with the same size band, the likelihood is unless you're increasing the tension on that band while you're stretching with it, which is possible, you're going to stay in that same range of motion. So you're not going to necessarily continue to improve in your range of motion. So that's what brings me to stretching with this baby. Now, I, now you can stretch obviously black band, purple band, green band. You don't have to jump up to a green band. But I used to stretch with this a lot, at least once or twice a week, and now I don't anymore. And I think what's happened as a result of that is my flexibility has plateaued out, and I'm not nearly as flexible as I was a few years ago, mostly because I don't challenge my flexibility with a greater resistance. Let me show you what I mean. Same 41-inch band, okay, but now the tension is much greater. So as I go ahead and have to push, all right, I got to push against a greater resistance. More importantly, when I go to go ahead and lock out and get into this position, I've got a significantly greater tension on the band now. That's going to pull me into a, more of the range of motion and really make me have to work at getting into that range of motion. It's going to specifically impact my hip rotation. All right, it's going to really impact my adduction because that's going to put me into a greater range of motion. And the other thing it's going to do is it's going to really impact when I go into my hip flexor quad stretch because now I've got a great deal more tension on that muscle and it has to let go and release. Now granted, you've got to be strong enough to handle a bigger band all right? because if you go ahead and use a bigger band but then you shorten up the motion by not locking your arm out or by not putting as much tension on the system, then you're probably equaling it out. So there's a couple of ways that you can go ahead and do this. Number one, you can increase to a bigger band, which is what I used to do all the time. The other thing is, you can shorten up the band. So when I'm here, and I'm going ahead and working on this motion, or whatever movement it is, if I want to shorten up the band by just wrapping it around my hand once, and then like tucking it out again, that's going to increase the tension and allow me to go ahead and really work at improving my mobility. I think that's the key. The key is that every now and then, at least once a week, I think, you need to be more aggressive with your stretching and take yourself into a bigger range of motion. However, that's going to require number one, strength. Number two, it's going to require you to go ahead and relax more into the stretch. That means your breathing is going to be real important as you work into it. All right? The thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get into a fight with the band and make the band in your body have to really restrict each other or inhibit each other. Remember. Muscles won't stretch if they feel like they're being threatened. So you want to go ahead and make sure that, hey, use a bigger band, but you got to relax into it. you got to ease into it. you got to make sure you keep your breathing going when you're going through it. Otherwise, probably won't be as effective. All right? My suggestion is if you're going to go to a bigger resistance, start shortening up the band you're using and see if you can do that first. Secondly, go to a next level band a little bit and see how that works. And then thirdly, if you can step up to even a double length band, or a double size band like the green band, go ahead and do it. But remember, you've got to be able to relax when you stretch so that muscle lengthens out the way you want it to.